Frank, I want to uh, uh, look back here to the Heimlich maneuver because I just received word actually this today that uh, Dr. Heimlich's releasing his life memoir. Gonna be, okay. yep, gonna be a big. Uh, no, no, he's gonna release it next month. But I learned of it today. Oh. Gonna be a big book party down in Cincinnati next uh, next month, February. Would you call him up and ask him if he remembers Dr. Frank Field? I will do that. Because uh, it shows you how life works. I did the Heimlich maneuver, promoted the hell out of it in New York. It grew after eight years, and I had fights with the Red Cross about its efficacy. They said that you're going to break people's ribs, and it was all kinds of a hassle. And also, even the news director said, for God's sake, Frank, you've done seven reports on the Heimlich maneuver in two weeks. And I said, yeah, because people when they're saved for by the high, they call me and say, I saved my baby with what I saw you do. And I want a crew to get out there and shoot that, and I did, and put it on. Well, why don't you do something about the common cold? Well, I said, no, I'll do what I want to. I'm the science editor. So it was provocative, and 15 years after we, the Heimlich maneuver became big time, the sportscaster, Warner Wolf, saved my life. We were sitting in a restaurant. I choked on a piece of steak. I was going to die right there. And Warner got up, grabbed me, did exactly what he had to do, and pop out came a piece of meat. And I went back to work at 11 o'clock, in between 6 and 11. Now there's so, a story. Yeah, it, it, it made the newspapers. We had Warner Wolf posing with me, saving me with the Heimlich. And, and Ed Koch, the mayor of New York, was saved with the Heimlich, and when he was interviewed, he said, thank God that so-and-so saw Frank Field on the air demonstrating it the other day, or I'd be dead. So this is a wonderful, that's the kind of thing that really made you want to get up in the morning and go to work. But that doesn't happen anymore. I mean,